because I'm an idiot and I'm about to down a shit ton of wasabi. Well, this is probably not a lot, but I'm about to down a moderate amount of wasabi because people like to watch me suffer. Those feels when you slice into an apple and it's gross as hell. No! So we are doing, this is episode three of Carbsmiths. Taking advantage of, well actually I should say doing my first Instagram live feed. There's me with messed up hair. There's everybody. Now everybody starts saying hi because they want to be on it. Mmm, I see how it is. Oh my gosh. This is still blowing my mind. This probably looks a little familiar. And alrighty guys, as usual, just finished up with a monster ride. Killed it, absolutely killed it. A little over 30 miles and uh, I don't know what happened guys. Uh, just, actually I do know what happened yesterday. Took a little easy day. Granted I did do some spinning and uh, did some moderate box squats but after that, guys, it was a recovery day yesterday so taking a recovery day then going right back into a pretty good ride is always a good feeling. Everybody I do have plans for today. Something that's been on my mind for probably, I wanna say the past week. Ever since I did pull 395 last week, I've been thinking about it over and over and over again and that is today. I'm gonna to go for my four plate deadlift and um, yeah guys, 395 going up last week felt pretty smooth. So I feel like it's uh, time to go attempt a milestone again. But I'm probably gonna get some food in right now and hit the gym. Uh, we will see what happens guys. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. Guys, we gotta hit four plates somehow soon. Cream of rice, fruit, this is how we do it. Well, this is how we attempt to do it, I should say. Cheers. Also, I had to have some protein too, and can't forget a gingerbread man, because this is carbsmith after all. Gingerbread, gingerbread. Those feels when you slice into an apple and it's gross as hell? No!
Fight. Alrighty guys, um, it is about 5 o'clock right now. Oh gosh, I did it. Holy shit, wasn't the cleanest one ever, but I should say the cleanest rep ever. Um, so you guys know, I have no idea what I was gonna say before I turned the camera. Uh, I just have so much going through my head right now. As you guys have seen, uh, I did hit the, uh, the four play deadlift like I wanted to. Uh, honestly, it wasn't like, like I knew last week, I probably could have done it last week, but um, anyways, I did it. And um, the rest of the, the, the workout or training training session, just to sound more badass, was kind of a blur after that. I'm trying to not make this a huge, like dramatic talking segment. I didn't, I watched some of my past videos this morning and it was just like, I need to do less of that, but I need to do this, I need to do that. The main point I kind of wanted to really highlight here is guys, it's like, I've just, this year has just been so fucking crazy, um, personally, I don't really talk about it much, but you guys just, you guys see only like one aspect of my life, which I feel like is sometimes the only aspect. I got a comment this morning of some guy going like, all you do is eat food in front of a camera and work out in front of a camera, like what else is there to your life? And sometimes I feel like that is my life. That's just one, um, one person really, that's one opinion. And uh, sometimes I have bad days, and this year has certainly been filled with a lot of bad days. You guys have your bad days, and uh, I hate just talking about myself over and over again like this, so you have to understand where I'm coming from for a second. But um, I've gotten hit by a car this year. <laughs> um, I've had very, very, just some pretty bad shit happen this year that I haven't really talked about. Um, I've also had a lot of good stuff happen this year. I've met a lot of awesome people this year. I've uh, missed out on a lot of opportunities. I've gotten a lot of great opportunities. And um, there's always just been within me, um, I mean, I feel like it's, I'm, I'm like this, I don't know, everybody, like I'm, I'm torn because I feel like this channel, um, like for example, what you guys just saw, is probably gonna be missed by like 75% of my viewers just because like people will come to watch me eat food. That's mainly what my channel is about. Uh, it's what uh, this whole series is about, it's Carbsmiths. Who the fuck wants to watch Eric lift weight? Um, there are the few of you that actually tune in to see me and see me grow as a person, and that's what this all is about. That's what this channel is for. Uh, that's what I, I want to do with my channel. That's what I want to, uh, that's why I want to be unique. And uh, that's why I want to be different than everybody else, because uh, I'm, I'm not just, I'm not gonna be in this this bubble of, of food challenger guys on YouTube. I'm not gonna be in this bubble of power lifter guys. Um, apparently that can't be power lifters because they're not now pulling over five plates, they're not benching over three. It's just like this, these stupid identities that people um, uh, subscribe to. Yes, I'll use that word, subscribe to. Uh, don't subscribe to one identity. Be your own identity. Whoever you wanna fucking be, just be it. You know, some days I wanna be Eric. Uh, Eric the Electric, the cyclist slash powerlifter slash insert whatever here. Um, in other days, I just, I, I don't know who I am. And that's life, <laughs> you know? Um, sometimes I just wanna say fuck identities, you know? But then it's, I'm getting way more in depth and way more intense and I don't even know the answer to that whole. Right now in this very moment, I'm, I'm extremely proud of myself. And uh, pride is something I, I don't have too often. I struggle with, I struggle a lot really with uh, just letting myself um, feel pride. A lot of people do. I struggle a lot with letting myself um, be something outside of the things I've just, just described. Um, just be me. Like, what if I just put down the camera, sold all my camera equipment, sold my bikes? didn't have a gym membership, didn't um, didn't make any videos anymore, then you guys would just find another person to subscribe to. <laughs> it's just life. It sounds pretty morbid, but that's the reality of it. The reality is, guys, even if I didn't do this, you guys would probably find somebody else to subscribe to, and that's just the way it is. 
I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna go to Best Buy and try, if this wants to focus, I'm going to try to find a mic for my camera. I love autofocus. See you guys. Alrighty guys, so um, I had a tripod picked out, but yeah, pushy sales people. I work in sales and probably not the best to be a douche. So I didn't buy anything. It's just the way I roll. Alrighty guys, so we are back from the gym, uh, back from the we'll play deadlift session that I had. Um, I did go to the grocery store, it didn't get too much again. I might live stream tonight, I don't know. Basically I come home and edit, 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 and edit my face off. So getting in live streams is kind of hard. But um, again, I did get some stuff at the grocery store, so we're gonna get to it right now. First things first, everybody, something I haven't gotten in a long time, you guys are seeing, this is a California salad roll. Now, I never, ever, ever get California rolls, but this was the cheapest. And uh, yeah, you can see it has that garbage avocado in there that's going to be taken out, I can tell you right now. Uh, yeah, so I got that at the store. And then uh, some fish for tonight as well. Snap peas and stir fry. It's just a stir fry mix. And then we have another favorite of mine, smoothie blend. So it's like grapes and cranberries and everything. Just because I've been doing strawberries so much lately. Then we have these, uh, gold and white corn, carrots, the whole nine yards right there. Then we have a new vegetable that I never really cooked with. I'm probably gonna do a stir fry tonight, so I did some zucchini right there. Then we have some crackers, now reduced fat. We're trying to watch our fat here. I think I had like 100 grams of fat yesterday. Uh, yeah, insane, so. Um, then we have some broccoli right here. And then after that, some diet root beer. And I think that's it. Ah, yes, as this is all spilling out on me, we did get a pear and an apple as well. That is what I got at the store, guys. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. going to be doing <laughs> gosh I look so dumb in this stupid hat it doesn't even fit my head anyways we're gonna be doing a sushi taste test um, unfortunately this sushi has avocado on it so what we do in this sense there were no other rolls we do this and we take gross avocado out mission accomplished and then we get sushi a little dab of soy sauce oh that kind of goes I mean, it's a Japanese poster, but, eh. Actually, not bad. Not bad. Well, this is probably not a lot, but I'm about to down a moderate amount of wasabi because people like to watch me suffer. That's right. Harold, fire in the hole. Guys, so we're done with the live stream, and as per usual, I gotta have my cereal before I go to sleep. Cereal, waffles, little Debbie, just the usual, guys. Just the usual. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode, guys. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh